What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Rod's Calibrator. Today, as you can see, we're not in America anymore. We are in Switzerland and today we're going to be going for trout and hopefully doing a catch and cook. So let's get on it and we'll see you guys soon. It was day two of fishing. We were returning back to the same spot where we had seen all the trout. All these trout were seen in video one, so if you haven't seen it, I recommend pausing the video right here, going watching in video one, and then coming back to the video here. For day two, we had way more bait, a ton more time, and we were much more prepared than when we had been for the first day. We were ready to catch as many trout as possible. Fish on guys, fish on, fish on. Hopefully you guys can see that, the one I got on. Big boy trout. Oh, flippy popped off. Shoot, guys, shoot. Immediately, we started getting bit by the trout. We were using white worms and also, surprisingly enough, shiny pieces of tin foil. We hooked two or three trout, but unfortunately, they spit the hook each time. You guys, new bait, tin foil. There's so many of them. He got it? Go for it. Oh, he does have it. He's got it. He's got it. It's a small one. Nice fish on, boys. Oh, it's one of these. Land him. Once again, just like before, we were still catching chub fish. We just could not seem to get any trout to bite the lure, and we just couldn't land them. We were still on the hunt for that big trout. And I got just like that. The rod has um broken. Yep, it really has. Look at that. Completely busted. So we are going to try with half the rod, and hopefully we still get some trout. So let's keep going, guys. Half the rod, guys. Let's see it. And yes, just like past Ishti said, you cannot do anything with a broken rod. Yet, we were using improvised thin line, using a supermarket bag as the net, and now the rod had broken, so it kind of felt fitting. But instead of just giving up, we just untangled all the line and kept using the rod. And it kind of paid off, as you can see in this next clip. You guys see him, I hope. I'm gonna try and get him on the bank. He's on guys, he's on. Big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish. Just gonna try and get this trout here. Just gotta walk right with him on the broken rod. Don't jump. Oh, he's huge, he's huge. Someone get the net, someone get the net. The bag. Yep. And just like that, we had hooked and we're just about to land the first trout of day two. We were all super excited and super cautious so this trout would not spit the hook. All right, he's right there, he's right there, he's right there. Right there, oh, he's huge. Nice rainbow, guys. I hope you guys can see him. He went for it, he went for it. All right, guys, gonna bring him down to the bag. Try and land him. Yes, guys, nice land and I had already caught my trout, so it was time to pass the rod over to Ishti and let him catch his trout. He immediately hooked this really nice rainbow and landed it in a few minutes. Yes, sir. Nice trout right there. Check that out, boys. Very nice, what do you have to say? Fish on, fish on, oh, he's jumping. He's jumping like crazy. And just like that, after four hours of fishing, day two was officially over. It was an extremely successful day despite breaking a rod, not having a net, and using really thin line. Even though only three catches were shown in this video, we ended up with six rainbow trout. We caught the others on camera, but it would make part two of this video way too long. So we will upload the other catches as shorts at a later date. Now was the best time. It was time to take our catches home and do a catch and cook. The Catch and Cook will be released in part three of the Switzerland series, so be on a lookout. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys in the next one.